guys good morning um i've got a matcha bowl request that i made from a friend of mine at the gym her name's cara Comparetto. she's an amazing pianist um she's got a great youtube channel you should check her out she's um just a sweetheart and she's an incredible musician pianist so anyway um i'm making her a matcha bowl and she wanted like bright, she loves pink. So I have this combo here that I'm gonna put on this matcha bowl. And Kara asked me to video the process of glazing it. So this one's for you, Kara, baby girl. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. This is the same clay, it's B-Mix. Um, I'm gonna be firing it to a cone six and I use a slow, cool schedule. So the, um, if you can see that, hopefully, we're gonna start the bottom with Autumn Purple by Spectrum. So I'm using all Spectrum glazes on this combo. It's three glazes. Autumn Purple on the bottom, and then it's sangria in the middle, and then it's kimchi around the top, and they're all going to slightly overlap, slightly. So, I can't remember if I did just kimchi on the inside or not, because kimchi is beautiful by itself, but anyway, let's get to it so I can show you how to make this pretty pink, purpley combination. All right, so I'm starting with the autumn purple. I shake it up. Now I waxed resisted the bottom of my piece because it helps me to keep, keep a little line. Um, so the glaze will not go beyond that line and then I can just wipe it off easy enough. Um, all right, so the autumn purple, I like to like pick my pieces up like this sometimes where you can put it down. Maybe I'll put it down for the sake of the video. Here we go. I'm loading up the brush with my autumn purple and I'm just gonna do like a thick line. All right, I'm back to do um, the sangria and it's dry enough for me to apply this, this second uh, color, probably about here, with a slight overlap. So sangria by Spectrum. It's a little thick because it's at the end of its I'm at the end of the container, but these don't like run much on their own, but kimchi's a runner. So I'm gonna do that on the top. Third coat, sangria.
It's time for kimchi by Sangria. This is what will give you that like pinky, it's almost like orange pinky, but that's because I didn't do uh, enough coats. So this is gonna come out, I think a little different, a little more colorful. Last and final third coat of the kimchi. This is where I get like nervous because like, I don't want it to run off the shelf, but then if you don't put too much, I mean, if you don't put enough, it won't come out like you want it to. So you really have to, you know, experiment. Glazing is an art in and of itself. It really is. You never know how the kiln's gonna react. You never know how one glaze will react to another glaze only by countless firings and test tiles and years really of putting glazes one on top of the other different brands different different colors um takes years to kind of like figure out which ones do what together because what people don't understand is when you're glazing this is not like paint. It won't be this color. <laughs> like you can't paint match it like at the store, you know, like it's hard to tell what you're putting on. Like, like my clear glaze is bright pink, you know, but it won't come out bright pink, obviously. Um, anyway, just went on a tangent. So let's finish this. Just about done. I'm really like slopping it on, on the inside so I can get some nice drippy runs for my Cara Comparetto. Let's hope I'm saying that right, Cara. All right, that's it. This thing's gonna be fired uh, probably tomorrow. So I'll be back with the results. Bye. So, out of the kiln, I had it on a tall cookie. So we're gonna have to glee, uh, sand down the little drips so it can sit flat. And I'll show you how we do that. These diamond core sanding discs are amazing. They work phenomenal for removing any drips. Um, you have to use water with them. Never, ever use it just dry. You need to wet the bat, the disc, while using it. Here's a picture of Kara using her matcha bowl. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Happy holidays, everyone.